What's going on? We're back for another amazing episode of the Innovator Hour, and I got a very special guest in the building coming yeah. from Alabama. Yeah. I got OMB PZ in the studio. What's we going on? It, we in this motherfucker. I appreciate y'all for having me. You feel me? Off tops. First, I want to say it's a pleasure and a blessing to have you here. I appreciate you coming through today, bro. For yeah, real. Yeah, I appreciate it, man. For real, for real. From the heart. Off tops. So, can you let the people know before we start where they can find you on social media? OMB underscore P-E-E-Z-Y on all social media platforms. You feel what I'm saying? Off tops. So, can you let me know, what does OMB mean? Only my brothers. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I was like, I got to ask him what that means. <laughs> when did you start making music? Shit, I started making music when I was like, yeah, damn. Shit. I made my first song at 12. At 12? Yeah. You remember how you remember that song? Nigga, I'm Paris. Better than the average. Committed like a marriage. Cause nigga, <laughs> I'm a savage. Tornado when I'm rapping. Sour than a lamb. At one up, you gonna be limping. Forget all these niggas. I ain't scared to pull the trigger. And pl- what it oh, I forgot, I forgot the red. <laughs> I, I was talking crazy. shit though. <laughs> what was the name of that song? Shit, I don't know. You my don't mom, know the name. My mom's boyfriend at the time had a little studio, so I just wrote wrote that shit and uh, went up and then recorded this. That's tight. That's tight. And yeah, I, I'm going to try not to ever forget that whole Yeah, don't you. forget that shit. <laughs> you got to read that shit forever. Oh, good. I want to ask you, uh, when you started rapping at 12, did you know that that's what you wanted to do for the rest of your life then? Yeah, yeah. I knew before I made the song, I made I, I knew I wanted to be a rapper or something. You feel okay. me? I wanted to be a football player when I was younger, younger. You okay. feel me? But when, once I seen my family and had the money to support that shit, yeah. it was all with. It was like, I'm going to start mm-hmm. making music. What position you was playing in football? I was playing Pop Warner. Okay. So I was like at every position, like they, they was trying yeah. me at all type of shit. You know how that Pop Warner yeah, still. I, I played college ball. That's why I'm asking. You played college ball? Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. I played <laughs> uh, tight end. No, not tight end, but the uh, uh, the on the D line on the right side. Defensive end? Yeah, defensive end. Yeah, you feel okay. what I'm saying? Now nah, you got some height, yeah. so I can see you there. <laughs> yeah, I played defensive end. I played wide receiver too. That's and tight. Cornerback. What was it that made you want to start making music? Shit, I love words. You feel me? Yeah. I really like writing and shit. I be reading this shit a lot too. I okay. think I read more than the, really? like the average person my age. A really? Young urban person. How often, like, how many books do you read a month or how? Shit, I don't count the books. Okay. I read. Cause I ain't gonna lie. I read like the same book multiple times. You feel wow. me? Like, cause I be reading like self healing books. You yeah. feel me? So, like, most of the shit that I read, you gotta read. Like, you gotta read them multiple times for you to interpret it right. You yeah, feel me? Yeah, that's tight though. I think, uh, I think as an artist, you for sure should read because you need to be up on words Man, and especially yeah. new words and exactly. being able to put seeing how other people put sentences together. Yeah, that's tight. That's for sure tight. I didn't know that. That's tight. What would you say some artists are that influenced you? Boosie, yeah, of course. Uh, Soldier Slim, yeah. Uh, Kevin Gates, yeah. Uh, Mr. B, he from my city. Uh, C Nine, he from my city. Yeah. Uh, shit, it's a few niggas. I ain't gonna lie. I can keep going for real. Yeah. That's, that's tight. I, when I listen to your music, I hear like that old school boozy yeah, vibe. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that's what everybody be saying. Shout and, and out to the, the, the funniest thing is, I'm like, shit, I'm like, I grew up on that. I'm like, P, I'm like, PZ dope as fuck. Yeah, like, I appreciate it. Yeah, that shit is tight, bro. I want to ask you, uh, I'm going to say, oh, congrats on Rolling Loud first. I want to say congrats on Rolling Loud. I appreciate that. How do you feel about, huh? You want to say? I'm finna go. Stupid yeah, up there. Yeah, how you feel? I'm gonna go bonkers up there, bitch. I swear. <laughs> Gotta take it. <laughs> I feel that. He, got, he brought the heme through. Yeah. I wanna ask you about Sick With It Records. You being from Alabama, why did you sign with Sick With It Records in E40? Because I ain't gonna lie. The opportunity was big. Yeah. Big dog. He for, shout out E40. He gave me a big ass opportunity. You feel me? Yeah. So I had to go with it for real. And then, especially at the, at the, at the time I was in my life, you feel me? Yeah. Shit, I ain't had nothing else, you feel me? Like, you know what I'm saying? Not even to put it like that. Because, like, it was a smart-ass decision, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? And for the mean everything you be saying, you feel me? Like, exactly. He show low like a motherfucker, you yeah. feel me? Yeah. So I'm like, shit, it's the best thing for me, real, you feel me? Yeah. And see, you was popping in your city, and the thing, the dope thing about you is your sound, the bay loves it. Yeah, so yeah, it's yeah like, he love that shit. <laughs> so it's bay. really family. I love now, the bay. The bay for show loves your sound. How does the deal work between Sick With It Records and 300 ENT? Oh shit, I'm distributed to uh, Sick With It to 300, uh, distributed to 300 to Sick With It. Okay. Shit. I got a partnership deal with Sick With It. Okay, I got you. What is your process like for selecting beats and working on lyrics for your songs? I like the pianos and shit. The, the beat really make my lyrics. Yeah. You feel me? Like, however the beat is, that's the type of vibe I'm gonna bring on that motherfucker, you feel yeah. me? Yeah. When I brought Neff through, he told me something that y'all both do when y'all record. He said, man, he was like, man, 
the thing I got with PZ is we don't give a fuck what we be saying. We just say the first thing that comes to our head when we record. We don't be like yeah. writing this shit down. Yeah. He's like, he said, man, these other niggas are saying whatever. So we know we can really rap. So yeah. let's go in there. And just, I'm going straight in the booth. Yeah. You feel me? Like, I don't be right. I used to write a lot. I used to do my, my writing press is like before. Like, you know what I'm saying? I really been in the studio like every day. Because back then I went in the studio every day. You feel me? So yeah. I write the song, find the beat. And then go to the studio, you feel me? So yeah. now, I be having something in the studio session. Like I'm I have a studio session. Say I got a studio session tonight. Yeah. I'm not finna write five songs and, and yeah. you, know, you feel me? Like, of course. I'm, saying, <laughs> I'm finna go to the studio. I'm finna go straight in the booth, you feel me? Cause when you in the booth, it's just like writing, it's just without a pen, you feel yeah. me? Like yeah. you think about you know what I'm saying, put your shit together, see it. You yeah. feel me? And then you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, of course. What producers are you rocking with right now? Oh shit. It's a lot of them. Drum Dumb and Double A, DTB, yeah. uh, Dungy, yeah. uh, uh, TNT, yeah. uh, uh, um, my white boy partner uh, for White Mike, you feel me? Yeah. That ain't his name on yeah. the beat thing, but you feel me? You yeah. know what I'm talking about. <laughs> that's my favorite. Oh, Mike Mixler, yeah, that's yeah. my people right there. Let's talk about the new music you got out right now. You released a project this year, Preacher to the Streets. Yeah. Why did you choose that title? Oh, yeah, because I was a baby, right? And you know, my mom and them used to have us in church. We would love you, feel me? So, yeah. The old lady, she had Alzheimer's. So, she leaving the church. And then she just look at me like on her, on her way out, like, oh, he going to be a preacher. Yeah. You feel me? But I grew up like in the streets type shit. So, yeah. I know I wasn't going to be in no pulpit. Yeah. You feel me? But when I got to making uh, 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 music and shit, people like, it sound like you were preaching on my Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, that shit just reminded me of that. So, I just went with that. Preacher I thought the title was dope for sure. I appreciate it. Because you, you is preaching to the streets. For <laughs> <Yeah>. sure. <laughs> <laughs> What was the mindset when creating this project? Oh shit! Like I had, to, I was trying to put as much knowledge as I could yeah. and still show people that I could, like I could rap. You yeah. feel me? Like I ain't just on the, you know what I'm saying? I could yeah. rap. You feel me? Now you you make dope music, bro, so for sure. So on the songs that like I wasn't trying to put knowledge in, I try to like you know what I'm saying, show them that I'm rapping for real. Yeah, yeah. off top. Do you have a favorite song on the project? Try so hard. Okay, and my shit. All right, and who did? Pro, uh, production on this project for you? Uh, uh, Dun G. Yeah. Uh, Mike Mixer, TNT. Yeah. Double A. Everybody, everybody. Everybody hey, you mentioned is the one yeah. who got on there. Okay, that's tight. That's tight. Shit. You fuck with the Bay Heavy. I want to know why is that? I fuck with the Bay because I used to I used to live in Sac, right? Oh, really? Yeah, okay, man. Okay, that's okay. why I got all my little shit going on. You feel okay, me? Okay, okay. Used to live. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah. You. So I dropped later on, and they just know what I mean. They gravitated to a nigga so so so. You know what I'm saying? So quick. Yeah. And so hard. You feel me? Like I can't do nothing but just fall in love with them. You feel me? I fuck yeah. with the Bay. You feel me? When you did lay down, did you think it was gonna pop like that? Hell no. Nah. One of my <laughs> partners, my partner J Face, he had told me like, "Really, people the flow." Yeah. I'm like, hell no. Nah. You feel me? Yeah. Why did you move the sack out of all places? My mom and them did that. I went to California when I was, uh, my first time in California. I was twelve. We can't. We went to California in the stolen you U-Haul van. I had on my sister's shirt. We had to stay at the shelter. Really? Oh Jesus! That's crazy. That's crazy. Can you tell me about a surreal moment you've had in your music career? Surreal. Surreal. Man, I got shot. Oh, yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Like, coming from the club type shit. On some, That's crazy. After my show. Yeah. You feel me? That was on some, but hell nah. Like, that was one of the most real moments. Like, this can't be happening. You feel me? Yeah. Like, fuck nah. You feel me? Other than that, like, every time, every time a fan see me and just be super happy, like, to see me out, I, I still ain't got used to people being happy to be around really? me <laughs> and being happy to see me. Like, bro, I ain't got shit going on. You feel me? Like, yeah. Yeah, to you. But shit, to me, shit, I'm a regular motherfucking nigga. So when people like be crying and shit, I be like, what yeah. the fuck is you crying for? Like, I really say, they hey, what the fuck is you crying for? You feel me? They excited to see you, man. Oh, good. You're a star. That shit crazy. The music, enough. I think, I, I mean, you being the artist, you making the music that, like, for, it comes from inside you, but it's like, these people that are receiving it, that shit really hitting their heart, you feel me? And they, they love what you yeah, rapping, they really love the music, you feel me? See, that's another thing, you feel me? Like, when I really start, Getting serious about the music and shit. I'll, I'll be making, like, still to this day, I'll be making music, like, for myself. You feel me? I really yeah. be talking about what I'm going through. So when somebody really fuck with my music, I feel like they really fuck with me as a person. You yeah, feel of me? Course. That's why I take the time out to stop talking to every fan that walk up to me, like, what you got going on? Where you from? What you, you feel me? Like, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Because I really be wanting to know, like, y'all really fuck with a nigga. You feel me? And then yeah. people, like, the DMs I get be crazy. Like, bro, you stop <laughs> me from killing myself. You, 
Ooh, do, ooh. And I believe that shit because yeah. I don't just make no any type of music. You feel? Yeah. No, of course. I think music is super powerful. And I think sometimes people don't even realize the lives that music saves yeah, and how, shit. like, people, someone can listen to your song and be in a bad mood or be down. You can inspire them to keep yeah. going and do great things. I, I think music it has a, the outreach that music has is just like, Religion, bro. People yeah, listen really, to exactly. shit every day. Exactly. People listen to more music, music than they go to church. People yeah. don't go to church really one day a week. Everybody listen to music. Every damn near all day if they could, you know? Mm -hmm. Can you tell me about a challenging obstacle you face in your career and how did you overcome it? Oh, shit. Uh, uh, like, 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 what you mean? Just like a challenging obstacle you face in your career. Could be, it could be anything. Uh, anything. I don't think I really had no, besides going to jail and shit, like, you know yeah. what I'm saying? But that's normal shit. Yeah. Yeah, man, I know yeah. what I mean? Now off tops, now off tops. I know you posted that video of uh when you was uh in the jail. That It was crazy how you told him. You was like, nah, you can talk to my oh, lawyer. Yeah. <laughs> you seen that, <laughs> I yeah. seen that shit for sure. You can talk to my lawyer. You know, real, recognize real they niggas respect to, that. They try to get me, fool. They, you, know, you want, you wish to talk to the fuck now? I wish to talk to <laughs> I try to see it as respectful as possible. Yeah. Like, nah, man, I got a lawyer, you feel me? Like, I don't even want, like, I ain't never been one to just flash on the police. Because you can't win with the police. I'm not finna be yeah. arguing with y'all, bro. You feel I, me? I, I, all I want to do is hurry the conversation up. Yeah, you can get out of my get face. You know Show me my bed. Yeah. <laughs> you finna take me to jail anyway. Y'all just found... So to say, I just found three pills in the car. Yeah, so you, I'm going to jail regardless. I'm yeah. a felon, you feel me? Yeah. So take me to where I'm going. You can talk to my lawyer and shit, and we can handle this in court or whatever the fuck y'all want to do. Exactly. What is a perfect day for you? A perfect day for me? A lot of weed, beautiful bitches, <laughs> a lot of money, a lot of money coming in, you feel yeah. me? And then uh, 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 at the end of the day, I want to relax, you feel what I'm saying, by myself. All, all, by all yourself? The, yeah, all the bitches got to lead you. Me and the money. You feel yeah. me? <laughs> Perfect day. Hey, I feel that for sure. Are you smoking backwoods or papers? Backwoods. Oh, I smoke gravel leaves and fronto. Gravel leaves and fronto. Mm -hmm. Okay. People, so I don't, somebody just told me about that. It was all they smoke is really fronto too. You mm -hmm. don't smoke backwoods? Nah, I don't. So I fuck with them, but I, like if I go in the store and they got gravel leaves yeah. and backwood next to each other, I'm gonna get the gravel. Leaf. The only thing about the uh, the fonta leaf is you gotta cut it up. It just, yeah, it just, shit, just like backwood though. Shit, I eat. Some people I even put love. the fonta in, in the paper in the too. Paper, though. Yeah, I be fucking with that shit too. Okay. Though, you feel me? Okay. You have a favorite weed right, right now? Peas of purple. You know, I got my own weed. Oh yeah, you do got the peasy yeah, purple. Yeah, peas of purple. Royce, Royce purple since 2005. <laughs> hey, it's been hard to find some good purple. I'm glad you came back with it. Yeah, you peasy did purple. It. Okay, I gotta try that out. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna get some for you. For yeah, sure. I gotta try that out for we sure. We gonna get some to you. It's good. Do you have any wild tour stories you can share with me? Tour, tour. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Come on, peasy shit. Uh, what is? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, better be said. Hey, look, I'm talking about that tour shit get real, real <laughs> wicked, yeah, man. <laughs> and then when I first started out, when I first started, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I was, I was like on a lot of tours. You feel me? Yeah. Like, as soon as I came out, like, as soon as I signed the distribution with 300, they kept putting me on tours and shit, you feel yeah. me? So, I ain't, I, I was fresh new to this shit. And I was fucking, yeah, man, I'm talking about, I, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I ain't shit for 22, but I feel like an old ass yeah. man. Yeah. I just <laughs> you done have some shit. experiences. I just seen some shit. Like, <laughs> bitch gonna have to do some real dead, extraordinary shit to surprise me, for real. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm talking about four, five bitches at one time, you yeah. feel me? yeah. Okay, yeah. that's some real rock star shit. I don't know why they love me so much. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why they love me so much. Hey, that's funny. That's hella funny, man. I appreciate you for sharing that. I want to ask you, what made you want to do the PZ Hood Essentials? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I got to talk to you. That, that's your shit. I gotta, we got to talk about that. Since we talking about this shit, you seen them try to steal my shit? Yeah. You seen that shit, huh? Yeah, it's crazy. I think, I mean. I started this shit, man. Why they, I don't even like, I swear, I, don't, I ain't even one of them people that are just, know what I mean? Yeah. But when you do some obvious shit to me, I'm going to feel like a hoe if I don't say nothing about it. You feel yeah. me? Like, that's yeah. obvious, though. Don't just, yeah. know what I mean? But what started me doing that shit, like, uh, uh, I was talking up, I was chopping up with uh, Shy. 
Yeah. You feel me? She uh she like head on my marketing team at 300. You feel me? Yeah. So you feel me? Like we gotta find out good ass idea. And she said it like joking. You feel me? And I'm like shit. Hey. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Yeah. I do that shit. You feel me? <laughs> Yeah. So we just uh, put that shit together, and then it came out perfect. Cause people don't know that I got a raw ass personality. You feel? Yeah. Cause on most of my videos, I'm straight face, like you feel. Me? But if you get close to me and like, know what I'm saying, really know, yeah, you feel. Me? So I'm just trying to show that more. Yeah, I think it's tight. I think it, it all ranges from different things. Yeah, from from food to, to other shit. How to how to get you know, a bullet wound? Yeah, I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> real street, real, real street show, real you hood feel essentials. Man. That's crazy. <laughs> I think you should try to be on a, a chef show. I'm trying to go to Food Network with this shit for real. That's what I'm saying. I'm good, bro. I think you should. I think it's tight. And I think, like you said, it allowed you to show your personality. Yeah. And I think it's different. That's why, like you said, if someone do copy it, you'll be able to peep because yeah. most people are not doing it because it, it's a unique type of content. You feel me? Saying. For sure. For sure. But they for sure try. They just, they for sure just swagger jack me. Yeah. They just took my whole shit. That's how you know you're doing something great, though. Oh. It sucks, but that's how you know you're doing something great for sure. Yeah, yeah. Do you have a favorite food spot right now? Not for real. Nah. Yeah, nah, not for real. I don't really be. Hold on, let me see. Oh, Jizz is, Jizz is soul food. That's what I be giving when I'm at the house. I okay. like jerk chicken. I fuck with jerk chicken and shit. Okay, like. I like jerk chicken too. I like jerk oxtails. Yeah. People don't be on the oxtails yeah. like that, but sure. I fuck with You know what oxtails yeah, is, yeah. for sure. I already know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like to ask this question to everyone who comes on my show. If you could pick yourself to be any animal in the world, what would it be and why? Any animal. I know a lot of people be saying lions and shit, so I ain't gonna say no lion. Yeah. You feel me? What I won't be? What I'd be? I'd be an elephant. Okay. Why? Cause they don't forget shit and yeah, they be they stepping, you hear me? I'm a real, real stepper, <laughs> big stepper, you hear me? Nah, I'm tired. <laughs> Can you tell me why there's so why why do you believe there's so much uh, jealousy and envy in the like in the music game, this entertainment industry, this in the world in general for real? Cause don't know about it, like humans. I feel like I ain't gonna lie. This was in a book that I read too. You feel me? Uh, Dale Carnegie. Yeah. It's uh he like humans gotta gotta got a real bad desire to feel important. Yeah. Like people are really run themselves insane. You feel me? To feel important, you feel me? So I feel like where that envy shit come in it, like people feel like the next person taking away from their importance. They don't want nobody to be more bigger than them. They don't want nobody to be you feel me? Yeah. So niggas be hating and shit. I don't be I don't really give a fuck what the next nigga doing, you feel me? Like, yeah. I'm gonna be straight. You yeah. feel me? I'm tired. I feel the same way. I'm like, man, I'm so focused on my program. I can't be worried about someone else doing it. Yeah, yeah, real shit. Times. Nah, definitely. What is something that most people don't know about you? Shit, let me see. Most people don't know. I don't know, shit, hey. I'm a, oh, God damn, I got a, oh. Uh, I don't know shit. It's a lot of shit. <laughs> shit. It can be anything. It don't got me damn crazy. It's a lot of shit. Yeah, the craziest thing someone told me is that they only got uh, what they 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 missing like two toes. Missing two toes, or like what do you say? He's missing four toes. My boy Pac Man, the gun man. He said he he said his toes got shut off. He said he missing toes. I'm like, what? I almost lost a toe. Really? Yeah, yeah. That shit. That shit sound hella scary to me. Yeah, I almost lost a toe. That shit. That shit. I almost took my shit off. I was. I can't even imagine having no toes. What I've been saying. Yeah. Oh, I like country music and rock okay. music. Okay. I fuck with Kings of Leon and shit like okay. that. Okay, that's different. I never really got into country. People have been, somebody actually tried to put me on some country uh, music. Nobody was really, to me, I, the first country song I ever really slapped in my whip was uh, Old Town Road like that. Oh, yeah, I don't, I don't fuck with that type of country music. Yeah, though, that's man. like. I fuck, shout out bro, you feel me? Shout out bro or whatever, you feel me? But yeah. that, like that type of country, I'm talking about like. You talking about real deal country no, music? No, I'm talking about. Not even I don't fuck with uh Billy Ray Cyrus and yeah. shit like you feel me. I'm more of a Kings of Leon. Yeah. You feel me? Uh Mumford and Sons type of nigga. You yeah. Feel me? All clock. No, I'm tired. You've been making music for years. What do you think has changed the most in your music over the years? Oh shit. Uh my delivery. Yeah. I feel like. Okay. I've been working on my voice a lot. Yeah. Definitely. What is the biggest lesson you've learned in the industry? That is your business? Yeah. 
It ain't personal. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nah, definitely, definitely. For my final question, I want to <laughs> ask you, what advice can you give to a younger artist who's trying to get into the music game? This shit just be in it. Don't work with your feelings. Yeah. And be yourself. And don't don't follow the wave because the wave can crash into the surface at any time and then you're going to be stuck looking stupid. Like, what, what do I do? Yeah. So you got to make your own sound. Yeah. Try to perfect a sound for yourself. Definitely. And do you have any final words before you get out of here? I didn't plan on grow on VPs, you know what it is, gang. Yeah, well, we're going to see you at Rolling Loud, man. I, I know you're going to tear this stage we, up for sure. Man, I'm jumping in the crowd. My no times. OMB Peasy, I appreciate you. All right, for sure.